take one over here. Estuaries are natural systems, and interfering them, interfering with them um, through poor management decisions can have quite a number of different damaging consequences. There's a good example here at uh, La Abba Estuary in Brittany, where a, a natural estuary system has been uh, played about with in terms of cutting off water supply uh, and tidal currents by building what we can see down here as a barrage or a causeway across the estuary. Now that particular causeway was built here in 1958 as a means of communication between both sides of the estuary. Uh, this area is quite um, a tourist area where these sort of coastal communications are, um, uh, are required for, for people to get around but also for agriculture, for farmers moving crops and livestock from either side of the uh, estuary. But the building of that causeway, obviously, in effect, it's a dam across the estuary. And that has a number of consequences. Firstly, if we look um, on the upstream side of the uh, causeway, we can see that the water levels, even at this time of low tide, are very high. And that's because the water simply can't escape quick enough for it to, to drain away. Um, whereas on the other side of the estuary, uh, sorry, other side of the causeway, um, you can see that it's low water. So it has this impedance in terms of drainage. It, it ponds back the, the waters uh, upstream. And that has an, imp an impact on the, the landscape of the estuary. And if we just walk and, and pan around this way, we can see that um, in the, the landscape in the estuary has changed dramatically since 1958. You can see furrows that probably were uh, old medieval ridge and furrows, agricultural landscape that has been flooded by this uh, increased water levels because of the causeway. Also, there are dead trees dotted around, uh, which are still there from the, the 1950s when they were growing. And they, they've been killed off due to waterlogging of the soils because of the increased water levels because of the causeway. So that's one impact of building a causeway. Another one, particularly in the, uh, from the middle of the 20th century onwards, is the rise of agriculture has um, developed using uh, more and more fer artificial fertilizers such as nitrates and also the increase in livestock, intensive livestock rearing, and in this area in particular it, it's pigs for pork, um, that's um, resulted in a lot of uh, slurry, uh, animal excrement. Um, so the combination of increased fertilizers, in particular nitrates, and livestock uh, with uh, the, the release of phosphate those have been washed off the fields and have escaped the agricultural areas and got into the, field, uh, into the river systems. Um, that's been particularly uh, uh, enhanced, if you like, by with the intensive agriculture, there's been a, a move to removing hedgerows. And there are examples in the fields behind us of where the old um, hedgerow system, which in Brittany is called the bocage, has been removed, uh, um, or at least some of them have been removed, and when you take hedgerows out of the field, syst uh, field systems, that increases the, or oh, sorry, that decreases the time it takes for the water to get off the land to run off into the into the rivers, so that it more effectively can take the nitrates and phosphates with it and put it into the rivers. And so once those artificial fertilizers are in the river, they can um, generate uh, algal blooms or stimulate algal blooms, which consumes oxygen, and that process is what we call eutrophication. So by building the causeway, it retains those nutrients in the estuary, promoting eutrophication, whereas before those, those nutrients may have been washed out um, with, with the river discharge. So that's the second consequence. And the third consequence, um, if we have a look over here again, we can see in the, uh, in, in the estuary upstream of the causeway, and also downstream, that there is a lot of sediment choking the, 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 the estuary channel. Um, upstream of the, the causeway, there is a little culvert which lets the tide in and out, only about three metres wide. Um, but when the tide is, is piled up against that, that culvert, it jets through very, very quickly and brings with it some tidal sediment. And there are birds sitting down there on um, uh, what we call flood tide deltas where the flood tide jets in through that culvert, bringing with it the, uh, the sediment which gets deposited very locally around, 
around that particular area. But downstream, there is a lot more sediment. When the tide comes in, it deposits this sand and it will stay there until it's flushed out. And of course, building the causeway across the estuary like that means that the river will never, not even in flood, be able to flush that sediment out. And so we have a reduced river discharge, which um, means that it can't flush out the sediment that is deposited in the estuary. And so the whole estuary becomes more of a sediment sink. So once sediment's got, uh, brought in here uh, and, and is deposited, and here it will, here it will, will remain. And that type of uh, interference then, with those three consequences, means that for the rest of the coastal system, which um, this estuary plugs into, uh, such as the, the wider bay out there, the Bay of Morgat, uh, which is beyond uh, the, the, the estuary out there, uh, it has an influence out there too, because um, the tide used to bring sediment in here, and then the river used to, in, particularly in flood in the winter, would have flushed it back out into the bay. And then that sediment would have been used um, along the beaches nat by, by natural processes to keep the beach supplied with sand and then the beach would then supply the dunes behind it with sand. But unfortunately that has led to um, a starvation of sand, on the, sorry, the building of this causeway has led to the starvation of sand in the bay um, out there. So the beach levels are going down and more importantly uh, the dune is starved, dunes are starved of sediment and they're beginning to erode.